Plants play a vital role in sustaining life on Earth, providing the oxygen we breathe and serving as the foundation of many ecosystems. However, human activities such as deforestation have had a significant impact on plant ecosystems and the services they provide. In this video, we will explore the ecological roles of plants, with a particular focus on their contributions to the oxygen and carbon cycles. We will also examine the impact of deforestation on plant ecosystems, as well as the importance of conservation and restoration efforts to protect plant biodiversity. Additionally, we will discuss the traditional uses of plants and the potential for plant-based solutions to address modern challenges. By the end of this video, you will have a greater appreciation for the importance of plants and the need to protect and restore the ecosystems they inhabit. Plants are vital to life on Earth because they produce oxygen through the process of photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose. This process takes place in the chloroplasts of plant cells, which contain the pigment chlorophyll that absorbs light energy. Oxygen is crucial for life on Earth as it is needed by most organisms to carry out cellular respiration, which produces energy in the form of ATP. Oxygen also plays a crucial role in the ozone layer, which protects the Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. However, deforestation has a significant impact on the oxygen cycle. When trees are cut down, fewer plants are available to produce oxygen, leading to a decrease in oxygen levels. This can have severe consequences for both humans and other animals, leading to respiratory problems and other health issues. It is important to understand the crucial role that plants play in the oxygen cycle and to take steps to protect and conserve them for the health of our planet and all its inhabitants. Part 2. The Carbon Cycle Plants are not only important for producing oxygen through photosynthesis, they also play a crucial role in regulating the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere through the process of photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and use it to produce glucose, which they can then use as energy to fuel their growth and development. This process not only removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, it also releases oxygen back into the atmosphere as a byproduct. The carbon that is taken up by plants is then stored in their biomass, such as leaves, stems, and roots. As plants grow, they absorb more and more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, thereby acting as a carbon sink. When plants die and decompose, the carbon that was stored in their biomass is returned to the atmosphere through a process called respiration, which is the opposite of photosynthesis. This carbon is then available for uptake by other living organisms, including plants, or it can be reabsorbed by the atmosphere. In addition to acting as a carbon sink, plants also play a critical role in the carbon cycle by regulating the Earth's climate. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, which means it traps heat in the Earth's atmosphere, contributing to global warming and climate change. Plants help to mitigate the effects of climate change by removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and storing it in their biomass. They also release water vapor through a process called transpiration, which can help to cool the surrounding air and regulate local temperature and humidity. Unfortunately, deforestation has a significant impact on the carbon cycle. When forests are cleared, the carbon that was stored in the biomass of the trees is released into the atmosphere through respiration and decomposition. Additionally, the removal of trees reduces the number of carbon sinks available to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, further contributing to the increase of carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. In conclusion, plants play a critical role in regulating the Earth's carbon cycle and mitigating the effects of climate change. It is important that we recognize the importance of plant conservation and restoration efforts in order to maintain a healthy and sustainable planet for future generations. Part 3. Ecological Roles of Plants Plants are not just essential for producing oxygen and removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They also play a vital role in maintaining the health of our planet's ecosystems. In this section, we will explore the diverse ecological roles of plants and how they contribute to the well-being of our planet. Firstly, plants are critical for maintaining healthy soils. Their roots stabilize soil, preventing erosion and increasing its ability to hold water. Additionally, plants have a symbiotic relationship with fungi and bacteria that live in the soil. These microorganisms help break down organic matter, making nutrients available for plant uptake. 
In return, plants provide these microorganisms with energy-rich sugars. Secondly, plants are critical for regulating the water cycle. Trees, for example, absorb water from the soil and release it into the atmosphere through a process called transpiration. This process helps regulate the water cycle by increasing atmospheric humidity and promoting cloud formation. Plants also act as natural filters, removing pollutants from water and preventing soil erosion that can lead to water pollution. Lastly, plants play a vital role in regulating the Earth's climate. Through photosynthesis, they remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, storing it as biomass. They also release water vapor into the atmosphere, which can form clouds that reflect sunlight back into space, reducing the amount of heat absorbed by the Earth's surface. This process helps to regulate the Earth's temperature and prevent global warming. Unfortunately, deforestation has severely impacted the ecological roles of plants. The loss of forests has led to soil erosion, disrupted water cycles, and increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This, in turn, has contributed to climate change, which further threatens the health of ecosystems worldwide. To address these issues, plant conservation and restoration efforts are crucial. By protecting and restoring forests and other plant ecosystems, we can help maintain healthy soils, regulate the water cycle, and mitigate the impacts of climate change. We all have a role to play in promoting plant conservation efforts and supporting sustainable land use practices. Part 4. Innovative technologies offer promising solutions for promoting conservation and restoration, but they cannot be the sole solution to environmental challenges. We must take action at the individual, community, and global levels to address the root causes of these issues. At the individual level, we can all take steps to reduce our carbon footprint and support sustainable practices. This can include reducing energy consumption, eating a plant-based diet, and choosing environmentally friendly products. At the community level, we can support local conservation efforts and advocate for policies that promote sustainability. This can involve volunteering with local organizations, supporting sustainable agriculture, and engaging in public discourse on environmental issues. By working together as a community, we can create positive change and promote a healthier planet. By preserving traditional knowledge, exploring innovative technologies, and taking action for a sustainable future, we can work towards a more sustainable and resilient planet for both plants and people. Part 5. Innovative Technologies for Conservation and Restoration In recent years, innovative technologies have emerged to help with conservation and restoration efforts. These technologies are designed to promote sustainability and address challenges such as climate change and biodiversity loss. Here are some examples. Bioremediation is a process that uses plants and microorganisms to remove pollutants from soil and water. By harnessing the natural abilities of plants and microbes, Bioremediation can help clean up contaminated areas and restore ecosystems. Reforestation involves planting trees in areas where forests have been lost or damaged. This can help to promote biodiversity, prevent erosion, and sequester carbon from the atmosphere. In addition to traditional reforestation techniques, new technologies such as aerial seed bombing and drones equipped with tree planting devices are being explored. Agroforestry is a farming method that combines trees with crops or livestock. By integrating trees into agricultural landscapes, agroforestry can help to improve soil health, regulate water cycles, and enhance biodiversity. This approach can also provide multiple benefits for farmers, such as increased yields and income diversification. These innovative technologies hold great promise for promoting conservation and restoration. They offer new tools for addressing environmental challenges and can help to create more sustainable and resilient ecosystems. However, it is important to approach these technologies with caution and ensure they are used responsibly. Some techniques may have unintended consequences or negative impacts on ecosystems if not implemented properly. Overall, innovative technologies offer exciting new opportunities for promoting conservation and restoration. By combining traditional knowledge with cutting-edge techniques, we can work towards a more sustainable future for both plants and people. Next, we will discuss the importance of taking action for a sustainable future. Part 6. Action for a Sustainable Future Now that we have discussed the importance of plants and their ecological roles, 
it's time to take action to support conservation efforts and promote sustainability. Here are some steps you can take to make a difference. 1. Reduce your carbon footprint. Simple actions such as reducing energy consumption, using public transportation or carpooling, and eating a plant-based diet can help reduce your carbon footprint and combat climate change. 2. Support sustainable agriculture. Look for organic and locally grown produce, support small-scale farmers, and choose sustainable food production methods that prioritize soil health and biodiversity. 3. Volunteer and donate. Consider volunteering for conservation organizations, donating to plant conservation efforts, or participating in local restoration projects. 4. Spread awareness. Educate others about the importance of plants and their impact on the environment. By taking these actions, we can all make a difference in protecting and preserving our planet's plant ecosystems. In conclusion, we have explored the vital role of plants in sustaining life on Earth through their impact on the carbon and oxygen cycles, their diverse ecological roles, and their traditional uses in ethnobotany. We have also discussed the impact of human activities, such as deforestation, on plant ecosystems and the services they provide. It is essential to appreciate and support the critical role of plants in our ecosystem and take action to support conservation efforts. Let us continue to learn and take action to protect and conserve the amazing biology of the natural world. Thank you for watching.